a home appliance repairman in Cincinnati, Ohio, is being sued after 12 customers reported they were scammed by him. He is accused of accepting payment but never completing the repairs. With us today is attorney and legal analyst Mari Henderson to talk about just how easy it is to get scammed and how to protect yourself. Hi, Mari. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. I know nothing about my appliances at my house. So if a repair person comes over and fixes it, I'm like, thank you, bye. I have no idea if they did their job or not. How do you know if you're getting scammed? Well, the most important thing to do is research. You don't want to just go with the first repairman you see. You maybe want to compare a couple quotes from a couple repairman and what the labor costs will be and what their estimates are. You want to have a contract in place that very specifically lays out your obligations, how much you're going to pay and when, and their obligations, what work they're going to do, how much it'll cost, uh, what the labor costs are. And during the process, you want to keep any records, uh, keep any receipts, take photos of the work done so that ultimately you could potentially sue for a breach of contract. Worst case scenario, if you suspect you have been scammed, what's the first thing you do to get your money back? Is it something that can be settled in small claims court? It depends on the amount. You could hire a lawyer, it could be in small claims, but the first thing you want to do is you want to file a complaint with the Consumer Protection Division and also with the Better Business Bureau to protect yourself and also put everyone else on notice. Okay, great information. Mari, thank you so much. Thank you.